It go down in the DM. It go down, it go down. It go down in the DM. It go down, it go down in the DM. It go down, it go down. Welcome back from the break, Rams. And our first question for down in the DMs comes from Carrick T at Carrick TZ, and they ask us: Does Tony Romo deserve seventeen? You heard that right, seventeen million dollars a year for calling games? Jury's out. Let's hear it, Hunter. I think that Tony Romo deserves to be the highest paid commentator ever because he is the best <laughs> at what he does. Best and if ever. you are the best at what you do. Yeah. You get paid the most. So, Tony Romo, yes, he deserves it. I mean, he deserves that money, but I don't think he's worth $17 million. Steve he's a, a is that good. <laughs> he doesn't get $17 million, so... Tony well, Romo's out there predicting. It's <laughs> because <laughs> he played the game for so long. I mean, he's entertaining, but he, he's not the best. The best in the game is Al Michaels. Al okay, Michaels, yeah. Sunday Night okay. Football. I mean, I, his voice, smooth silk. He's smooth just silk. <laughs> and he's just 50 years calling... NFL football, and he's only making $5 million a year. He's a natural. I, he, he's a natural. He, I mean, he was born to do it. I mean, <laughs> he was made to he, he was literally made to do it. And he's only making $5 million a year. I don't think anybody should make, be making that much money, even. I mean, that's a lot of money. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, Tony Romo, uh, Tony Romo, 17 mil. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, okay, so I think Tony Romo doesn't need $17 million just because – He's standing up there commentating, and they don't even give Dak Prescott mm -hmm. $17 million. So until you can get to giving these quarterbacks or these players the money they deserve, why give Tony Romo $17 million to do the best of what he does? Mm -hmm. But how long has Dak Prescott been in the league as for? It doesn't matter. Have how you long did how Tony long, Romo you play see for? What, he, done, what he, he has done for the Cowboys? This game by, I like the back of his hand. He knows okay. this game inside and out. So, if you listen to him, his commentating, he predicts but like I everything. Said, Stephen, Why a can't is, he <laughs> Stephen A is a clown, and he gets hella, a lot of people to watch ESPN. Why can't he get $17 million? Exactly. Okay, okay. I think, hey, we're split. I, I think we I think can agree split. to disagree on this one. Okay. I, I like it. I, <laughs> I like think it. we okay. all think that he, gets, he okay. deserves the money, but maybe not that much, but <laughs> no. we're there. All right, for our second question, this one comes from at KatieCat787, and she asks, how deep of a run will the CSU men's basketball team make in the Mountain West tournament? Ellison, why don't you start us off with this one? Ah, okay, looking at the schedule right here, they got to start off with Wyoming. I know Wyoming is probably upset with losing to the Rams, so they're going to come out here and give everything they got. But I think the Rams are good enough to go, <sighs> if they could beat Nevada, they, they're going to make it to the semifinals, and that's probably it. I just I don't see the Rams playing good enough to go to the championship and, and win it all. So It's tough without a bye. Yeah. But like you said, they're going in against Wyoming to start, and I mm -hmm. do see that the Wyoming's going to want some revenge for that yeah. last game. I mean – down 19 at half and yeah. you lose that huge lose lead that's going to be a it's going to be a tough battle for them but i also think that this team is just they're different mm -hmm. and uh, the fact that it, mm -hmm. they're losing three guys now this year they're going to lose carvacho edwards and martin i think that this is going to be if they're going to take this one to heart more than anything and i think that this one's going to be a good one for them so how deep are they going I'm, I'm, well, I'm really excited, and I'm kind of hoping that they can play San Diego State again, and oh, yeah. I think that oh, would yeah. be fantastic. I think it's going to be a little tough, like you said, going against Nevada after yeah. Wyoming. It's going to be, it's going to be really hard, but I'm hoping they can get to play San Diego State at least. Okay, so you're thinking the finals. You're thinking yeah. the fi well, assuming San Diego State makes it to the finals, <laughs> uh, you know, as much as I want to see that rematch, I'm going to have to go with semifinal, a semifinal boot for the Rams. I mean... I mean, but, but it, it, it's, it's March, it's March, and yeah. things happen in sports, you know, these things, these things happen. <laughs> exactly. um, but I, they, they, they say they beat uh, Wyoming, and then they, they beat Nevada, I mean, they're 1-1 one one against Nevada on the air, and then they meet Utah State yeah. with Ram killer Sam Merrill. <laughs> um, I mean, his only two 30-point games in his career are against CSU, <laughs> uh, so I think that's where they get the boot. Yeah, I think they're going to go out earlier, I think they just... End it with Nevada. I don't think they're going to make it really? past that. Like you say, they're one and one, and I don't think it's going to be much further for them, unfortunately. All righty. <laughs> well, Rams, that is all we have for this week. Thank you for sending in questions for Down in the DMs, and be sure to keep DMing us, and we just might pick your question to be on air. To keep updated with more sports throughout the week, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at sports underscore CTV. 
I'm Ellison Hubbard. I'm Ethan Bird. I'm Rachel Hallam. And I'm Hunter Fillmore. Tune back in tomorrow night for more news from the people you know and to see Erica Johnson and Brendan Fairbairn talk about the rest of the CSU softball season and what they're expecting to happen. And don't forget to catch Jessica Mendoza and Jason Ortiz in Las Vegas at the Thomas and Mack Center bringing you the latest updates on the Mountain West Basketball Tournament. You don't want to miss it. Until next week, have a great night, Rams.